candidate is on the subject to the COVID test center in Watney Market. The petition has been brought to the council for debate under the petition scheme as it contains over 2,000 signatures from people who live, work, or study in the borough. One motion from the councillor Harun Mia has been published in the supplement pack. Can I remind members to move any motion on the on this petition at the start of the debate? I call on Sundar Mia and Rahul Amin to address the meeting on the peti- on the petition. You have three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So I'll be speaking. Um, First of all, um, obviously, uh, Sundar Bhaisa will be actually uh, taking some questions. Um, so, good evening. Assalamu alaikum. I've got a lot to say. So, I've got my own uh, uh, timer here. So, I'm going to make sure I get all of it in within three minutes. Uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you for, uh, for this opportunity to bring this petition to the attention of the Council tonight. I'm here to express the views of the residents of Shadwell, surrounding area, and their well wishes. The anger and disbelief at the decision to place a circle COVID-19 test center at the Watney Market Idea Store. A feeling aggravated when it appears that the following occurred, reinforcing a feeling of abandonment and status of second-class residents. None of the local councillors in Shadwell Ward were consulted. No equality impact assessment made or published to the residents. No explanation given, given as to why such a site was deemed suitable, where other more suitable spaces were available. Is it a case of, of uh, do as I say or uh, not as I do? At the same time, while encouraging people not to mix publicly, a decision appears uh, is taken to put a COVID-19 test center next to a busy market and dense residential area. Um, at the same time, blaming the central government for the decision, nothing is done to move the center away from what the market. While collecting signatures from residents, they asked us to raise the following points and scenarios to consider. One, potentially infected people may come to what you market on a busy Saturday to get tested. They decide they may test positive and then as a result need to isolate for 14 days. They need to stock up on food and other necessities to cover the isolation period. What you market is conveniently located next to the idea store. These infected people will be doing a lot of shopping in the market and leaving their traces on food stuff and other items. It is understood that some strands of the coronavirus remain on surfaces for up to nine hours. Number two, elderly people and the Bangladeshi community who are most vulnerable to coronavirus visit the market, especially on Saturdays as well as other days. These people will potentially touch the same surfaces as the infected people and take this infection back to their homes families and localities. This is the fastest way I can think of the disease spreading. So the equation is most vulnerable community plus a very congested market plus infected people roaming around equals the recipe for disaster. We cannot think of a work. We cannot think of a, sorry, sorry. We cannot think of a worse place to choose a location for a COVID test center. Have you, having spoken to stall and shop owners in what the market directly, they have all said that their businesses are suffering as a result uh, of this COVID test center next to the market. Parents have expressed concern as to why the center is located in an area close to over a dozen schools and busy bus stops, increasing the risk uh, uh, and infection and, uh, and, and the spread. Thank Our you. MP, Thank you. Has raised... okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Uh, there are now four minutes for member to ask questions of the petitioners and the petitioner to respond to this question. I call upon Councillor Abe McEwillan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Mr. Amin, for bringing this um, petition to us. Um, can I ask, um, as a local resident in Shadwell, what your experience has been so far of the way that the test centre has ra- been running? Yeah, so, uh, basically, uh, in terms of uh, you know management, uh, the concern isn't about how the test center is being run. It's, it's the concern that the residents have, people who live in that part of uh, Tower Hamlets, uh, people who have businesses uh, uh, around the uh, test center. That is the main concern. It's not how, you know, the question isn't about how the, uh, you know, the uh, test center is being run. 
basically you know, I have to walk through I, mean, uh, I have to walk uh, past this center every day and I feel uneasy many people uh, as an activist you know I, I'm every day at what the market walking past by this center people come up to me because they know me as an activist and they approach me and they tell me their you know uh, concerns and that is why uh, they actually supported me uh, you know in, in actually doing this petition and getting it to the council um, they uh, and they feel that uh, you know it was very unjust uh, unfair and uh, the you know the the fact that nobody was consulted uh, we we got two uh, councillors in the ward uh, you know a lot of activists and a lot of uh, you know people who are concerned uh, people just feel you know they've been neglected and uh, you know uh, people are really angry even the businessmen and the the, uh, the businesses have gone down uh, some of them said they like uh, some like 50% Now, can I call Councillor Victoria Obaze, please? Oh, good evening, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, I mean, for bringing this petition. I just wanted um, you to elaborate on um, the practical uh, evidence you've got that this uh, having to have it in Watney Market is affecting the residents. And um, why do you think uh, having trace and center in the area is not appropriate? Knowing that um, in the borough, we have a lot of uh, them that is suffering from COVID. So having center that is nearby, that people can go in and have tested, wouldn't that be better than going far further away? So is there any practical evidence that you have that shows that having that center there is really causing harm rather than um, being positive for the residents? Yeah. Thank you, uh, 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 Councillor Bozzi, for your question. Uh, so uh, the practical evidence is the 2,000 signatures we have. People are really concerned uh, that this is not a good idea. We see on the media that you know uh, many authorities have COVID test centers in like uh, open spaces like parks and car parks. Um, we've also had many uh, COVID cases uh, in the surrounding areas in uh, different schools like Mulberry and other like we've got uh, some like a dozen schools within a very close proximity of the uh, whole center. Um, so uh, I believe that uh, the, the, uh, like we, we've got parks like you know Shadwell Park could, could have been considered, Tobacco Dock could, could, be, could have been considered, uh, Enzyme Club Uh, could have been considered, Stepney Park could have been considered. So, the, the, you know, the, there are many options. The council has many empty buildings, even in Bethnal Green Park. There is an empty building in Bethnal Green Park uh, right next to the Bethnal Green Chief Station. Uh, so uh, that's the main Thank concern you. people have. And that is why we actually, you know, we have to actually get this uh, petition in. Thank you. Can I call Councillor Bex White? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I, I was going to ask a very similar question to Councillor Abaze about surely um, it being better to put the test centre where people can get to, especially given the low rates of car ownership in our borough. But instead, um, I'd like to ask if you think it's helpful to stigmatise people who are doing their public duty in getting a COVID test when they have symptoms by talking about them in terms that sound like they're going to be infecting everyone around them, infecting every surface they touch. We desperately need everyone in Tower Hamlets who has the symptoms to get themselves tested. That is the best way that we can protect our community. And I have deep concerns that the language that this petition has been presented in actually in itself puts the public at risk. Yes. Thank you. No, I, I, I disagree with that, uh, Councillor Bex-White. Um, there will be there surely 2,000 people. You know, yeah. and, Thank you very much. Know, the limit, the time limit of the question has been reached. There is now 15 minutes for the debate, and I will look to call as many members as I can in the time available from the list of the speakers. All speeches are limited to three minutes. All speeches are limited to three minutes, but I would ask members to keep their contribution brief. I, I have the motion from Councillor Harun Mia. Are there any other motion? Please, can councillors formally move their motion during your speeches? I call upon 
Mayor John Biggs, 